Hello students, how are you? Today TK is here to explain to you the concept of exercise 10.4 which is trigonometry and it is from O level Admas book. So I have picked a few questions from this exercise and I will explain it to you and solve it in front of you so that you know how to go about it. So in this exercise the first uh, few questions have same technique the two hints are given to you here. Number one is that 10 theta is negative. So the value of theta for that 10 will give you negative value. And theta is reflex. Now 10 theta mean if I look at it in the quadrant is negative in the second and fourth quadrant. And ten, ten th uh, theta is reflex mean it is in the third or fourth quadrant because reflex angles are those which are greater than 180 and less than 360. So from these two given hints, I know that my answers are in the fourth quadrant and in the fourth quadrant only cos is positive. And I have to answer or find out the value of sec theta cos sec theta and cot theta. So what do you think? What answer will be positive and what will be negative without solving anything? Can you think? I have given you hint here that cos is positive. So sec theta is the inverse of cos theta. Yes or no? So it means only this answer will be positive. Why? Because sec theta is 1 over cos theta. And cos is positive. So this answer will be positive. Whereas cosec theta will be 1 over sin theta. And sin theta in the fourth quadrant is negative. Similarly, cot theta is 1 over tan theta and tan theta is negative in the fourth quadrant. So without solving anything, just by knowing with the help of these two given information that my answer must lie in the fourth quadrant, I know that only cos will be positive and hence only this answer will be positive. I don't know what will be the answer right now, but I know it will be positive and these two will be negative. So now let's see. So when you are solving math, maths question, there are few things, few common sense understanding of the concept which helps you to know what type of answer you will get. Okay, so now from 10 theta is equal to minus 3 over 4, I will forget minus sign and I will just pick up 3 over 4 and draw a triangle because minus sign was just there to help me to find out the quadrant. Okay, so now 3 over 4 I have written and by Pythagoras theorem I have found out the value of hypotenuse which is x here. Why do I need it? Because to answer cos sec theta and cot theta and sec theta I need what is on the hypotenuse. Now let's see. Sec theta, cos sec theta and cot theta. Sec theta is 1 over cos theta. And from the Pythagoras theorem, we know it is 4 over 5, so it will get inverse. Similarly, we are doing for cosec theta and cot theta. Make sense? So, do you see anything I need to correct here? I did not write here. Only this one will be positive because it has cos theta. This answer is positive because it is in the fourth quadrant. These two should be negative. So you understand the purpose of identifying the quadrant is to uh, decide the sign with the other trigonometric ratio, right? Inverse ratios. So now let's see another example which is 3C. In 3C the given two hints are sec theta equals to 3 and theta is acute. Theta acute mean it is in the first quadrant. Let's see here. Right? And, cos, uh, and sec theta equals to 1 over cos theta. So I am doing cross multiplication and I got cos theta equals to 1 over 3 which is positive. It means from this hint I know my answer is lying in the first and fourth quadrant. And from the first hint which was theta is acute, 
my answer is in the first quadrant so this quadrant satisfying all the uh, both the ends so it means all the answer will be positive because in the first quadrant all trigonometric answers are positive so now we have to find out sec cos sec uh, no we have to find out tan 90 minus theta so let's find it out so first of all I will again draw a triangle the hint was given to me cos theta equals to 1 over 3 which means adjacent over hypotenuse so with the help of Pythagoras I have found out it is 8 root 8 sorry square root 8 so now to answer the question 10 90 minus theta I will write 1 over 10 theta because we know this identity now 10 theta is equals to 1 over square root 8 over 1 so it will become 1 over a square root of 8 I hope you understood this now let's take another example and it is 4c cot theta equals to minus 1 over root 2 theta is equals to obtuse now we know obtuse mean in the second quadrant right so if theta is obtuse it is in the second quadrant and from the first hint which was cot theta equals to minus so I will see what is cot theta so let's see here if I look at it from here cot is 1 over 10 so what is 10 10 is root minus 2 and 10 is negative in the second and fourth quadrant so second quadrant is a quadrant which is satisfying both the hints so my answer is in the second quadrant and in the second quadrant only sign is positive so now I will see what my answer will be so question is saying find out cosec 90 minus theta so what will I do cosec 90 minus theta before that as usual we will draw a triangle and we will find out the rest of the sides right I think you understood I have just explained to you how do we go about it when it is tan theta equals to minus square root of 2 there is no denominator it means it is 1 and tan is opposite over adjacent so this is how I got Pythagoras, by Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse is square root of 3 so coming back to the question cosec theta uh, cosec 90 minus theta we know cosec is 1 over sine theta so it will become 1 over sine 90 minus theta and sine 90 minus theta equals to cos theta we know this identity so cosec theta from the uh, Pythagoras theorem here from the right angle triangle we know cosec theta will be opposite over hypotenuse so it will become minus why it is minus why I have written minus because cos theta in the second quadrant is negative and our answer is lying in the second quadrant so now my answer is minus square root of 3 let's solve question 6 of the same exercise solve the equation x between 0 and 360 now it is saying between 0 and 360 now this is something very important between mean if your answer is 0 and 360 you will not consider it okay so this is 6a so question is saying cosec x equals to minus 2 so I will use here identity cosec x is 1 over sin x what will I do now I think all of you know because we have been doing it and you are practicing it so I will cross multiply and my sin x is minus 1 over 2 I have to find out between 0 and 360 that which values of x or angle I will write here so that my answer is minus half now again if you will use in uh, calculator because some of the students do sine inverse and this thing 
they will get just one answer but we need more answer because sign is giving me negative answer and we know that between 0 to 360 sign is negative in the third and fourth quadrant so it means there are two answer one from here till here and other from here till here so i will find out what is this angle so this is my basic angle which we have done in exercise 10.1 so now to find out the basic angle i will forget about this minus sign totally because this helped me to identify the quadrant so now sine inverse half is giving me answer 30 degree it means this is 30 and this basic angle is also 30 so my general answer will be like i said from here till here which is 180 plus 30 and the other answer is 360 minus 30 so these are my two answers x equals to 210 and 330 now let's do one last example uh, second last rather it is 6e cosec square x minus 1 what comes in your mind so you remember cosec is the inverse of what yes sine so it will become 1 over sine square x equals to 1 and now after cross multiplying and I will take a square root on both both sides and I will get sine x equals to plus minus 1 now for that we don't need to use ASTC the quadrant why because we remember from graph that sine is giving me plus 1 at 90 degree and sine of certain angle give me minus 1 and what is that angle 270 between the range of 0 to 360 so automatically without any other working just by recalling the graph I know the value of x should be 90 and 270 so it's a simple question if you have a concept or understanding of the sketch of the sign now last which is part h of question number six now what we will do here basically you see here this term and this term is multiplying and answer is coming zero it means the product of two term is zero so we will put each term equals to zero one by one so first of all we will put sin x equals to zero again by recalling the sine graph i will know i will i know that angle 0 180 and 360 give me zero answer i can show you in the sketch here you see sine 0 sine 180 and sine 360 give us zero value so we know it we don't need any working but the thing is 0 and 360 will not be included as my answers right because question was saying between 0 and 360 it was not saying included so these are out so 180 should be my answer because it is in the range but again this is not also mentioned in the answer why so you keep thinking I will explain you in a while let me first of all solve this part that when I take cosec x minus root 2 equals to 0 and then I will come back to it that why this is not a part of the answer right okay so let's see cosec is the inverse of sine right we know this thing so after cross multiplying I will get sine x equals to 1 over root 2 now sine is positive it means my answers will be in the first and second quadrant okay so I will find out what is my basic answer basic angle again I will tell you if you will use sine inverse 1 over root 2 you will get just one answer right you will just get one answer either this one or this one so when you have to find few answer within the range then you have to find out the basic angle first of all so now I am finding out my basic angle which is coming 45 it means this is 45 and this is 45 now within the range of 0 to 360 this will be my one answer and this will be my 
other answer. So what is this? 45 and 180 minus 45 which is 135. Now I am coming back to it that why 180 is not our answer. Let's see. This was the question here. If I write sine 180 and cosec is 1 over sine and I write again sine 1 over sine 180, so what it will become? See here. Sine 180 is 0. So 0 bracket 1 over 0 minus square root of 2. And we know when we divide by 0, we get what? Maths error. So that's why when you will solve it, if you will substitute the value, you will get error. So that's why this is not the part of the answer. I hope you understood. Thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, if you have learned something, please like it and subscribe the channel. And you will get all my new uh, videos as soon as I will upload them. And if you have any query, any question, please email me on the email address which I have, which I have mentioned in the description. Thank you.